Hello everybody and welcome to the first video of 2022 season. In this video we're going to be covering how to remove the traction mat uh, from your boat and in my case this is being removed in this video from my clean out hatch. Uh, we're getting ready to rebuild the hatch so there's going to be a video on that because it's got a soft spot in it. But the first step for us was to remove uh, the uh, old traction mat. So enjoy this video. Please subscribe to the channel. More videos are coming, reviews, how-tos, all that good stuff. We're just waiting for some spring weather. That's it. So thanks again for all the support, guys. Please leave your comments. Get back to them as soon as I can. I do have a life. And uh, take care. Bye. Okay, so this is what we found to be the best setup. Is I have my lovely assistant here doing the heat. I have this plastic scraper. And this is just working. So she's just getting it a little warm. And then I'm coming through and I'm just, I'm tugging and I'm using the scraper to release the adhesive from the platform. So I found that this works best, keeping it one piece, um, just obviously gives you more to pull onto and that's it. There is also a fine line between too much heat, too much heat and everything starts ripping. But as you can see, it's not really leaving that much residual and this will all be cleaned up very easily and I'll show you that when we get to it. We are using the heat gun in the maximum setting. Ours is one and two, which is um, oh, 500 degrees Celsius. And of course I have my gloves on, that way if she comes across my hand, my fingers, it doesn't melt it. We're going to cut off some of this excess. There we go. Clump. You know, if this was summertime and you were doing this, having this thing just sitting in the sun would probably help, obviously, a ton. Voila! And that's it. So, you see how we did that? We're gonna do the same to this. We'll come back to this video when we're all done um, with all this removed. This, this was it. These are the only two tools that I used. Heat gun and this. I had an extra set of hands which made it nice, but it came right off. Now, there is a little bit of residual left over and we're gonna clean that up. And the way we're gonna clean this up is with a 3M Magic Eraser. So you use this with a drill, bada bing, bada boom. Um, it was, it was, you know, this actually came out pretty easy. So it was not too bad. It was not too bad at all. So we're gonna get this whole thing cleaned up. So we got some cracks right here. We're gonna get this whole thing cleaned up and look it over. And that way we know what we need to address. So I'm just gonna start right here in the middle. I got my drill on two. And there you go, it's taking it off. You don't wanna set it any place too long to get it super hot. If you think you're getting it hot, pull it off. Touch it, does it feel hot? Then you're good. We're going to keep our air hose handy dandy. So this way we keep an eye on everything. All right, so we've completed this side right here and just use the, using the uh, eraser and all the, the gunk, all the big black matte leftovers are now are now gone. Now there's still a little bit, there's still a little bit of stuff in here and that's fine. It's kind of below the the the, uh, the tread that's on here. So 
The magic eraser is not going to clean this thing for you, but it's just going to remove the material. So we're going to so now that we got this side done, we're going to have to get all this off. And then once that's done, we're going to wipe everything down um, uh, with a chemical and uh, and we'll proceed to that step here. So let's get this side cleaned up and then we'll move to wiping it down. All right, so we've used our magic eraser. We've cleaned as much of the um, old hydro mat off. Next step we need to do is we just need to clean this thing. We need to get rid of all the dirt and that's gonna let us see if there's any cracks um, if there's any material left, you know, clean up around here. And I'm going to show you how I did that because this side is done. And what I found is I got this little tiny pinhole right here that was underneath the hydromat. You know, we got some cracking around here. Um, we had this as well. We got a little crack around here. And this way we know all this before we get started. Of course, we have some here. So we need to get this to look like that. We're gonna do this in a couple of steps. So here's all I use. I use Goo Gone, works great. Then I go to Simple Green to wipe the Goo Gone mess off. Then I spray it with some Windex. And then I use this Instant Hall Cleaner Gel Formula, which everyone's gonna say is toilet bowl cleaner and water. Get it, I don't care, I just, it's easy. And I'm actually taking this and I'm going to be dumping it onto here. And then I'm gonna be using these upholstery brushes that you can put into a drill just to kind of speed things up. So get the camera set up. Step one. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use this degreaser. We're gonna try to get All right, some Windex. Now we're gonna use this hall cleaner. I got quite a bit of this in a rag right now. Thing, there we go. We're just gonna set it on one. Take a clean towel. We're gonna, we're gonna wipe everything up. Now, we can see we have quite a bit of uh, blue left. So before I put my eraser on here, I'm going to just spray it down with Windex. So again, I just put it on, you know, not low, high speed, and I let the tool do the work. Also, you're, this is gonna really shred this on this non-stick. Another thing, I have had this, I have done pretty much all my warning stickers on the boat with it, my old emblems, they last quite a while. But look, I mean, look at how close we are. We're almost there. All righty, so let's start the process over again. Give it a little degreasing. A little Windexing. 
toilet bowl cleaner, hall cleaner stuff. Spray it down with some Windex just to get the, that toilet bowl cleaner stuff off of there. There we go, that one's getting kind of wet. There we go, dry it off. And now, we only just got a little tiny bit left to go. Alrighty, and there we go, guys. That is how you do that. And I did this all in, I don't know, an hour or two. So the whole thing's ready to go, it's prepped. So if you're putting on new, um, new uh, mat, traction mat, this is, uh, this is how I would this is how I would do it, you know? This is nice, because I could take this off and do it in the garage, but the same principles apply if you have to do it on the boat. Everything's nice and clean. Um, you know, if your boat's newer, obviously you're not gonna be going through some of these repairs that I'm gonna be going through. But now I got a good view of what everything looks like. The end. And again, an eraser wheel. We use an eraser wheel. We use this little Amazon brush. All the links, you know, I'll put in my description. Simple green, Windex, Hall gel cleaner, and some Goo Gone. You could use stronger, less stronger. Um, you could do this differently. It's up to you. I, I'm just telling you, this is how I, this is how I did it. And obviously, the results speak for themselves. So, that's it for part one, guys.